In this short curling IO tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up your teams for one of your leagues. So I'm interested in setting up my teams for the Wednesday night open. So before we do that, I just want to cover a couple details inside the Wednesday night open here that are relevant to setting up your teams, which is the team name or the skip's name and the curler's position. So if you want the system to be able to recommend teams for you, then you're going to want to ask for either a team name or a skip name. If you're not asking for either of those, then the system won't be able to assemble teams or, or make recommendations because it won't have any team names to go with. So that's fine if it's name out of a hat kind of um, league, but if you actually want to, if you actually have teams coming in with team names or skips names, either one works, then you'll want to make sure that you're asking for that information. So now that we've covered that, we're going to go into the Wednesday night open. We're going to click on the name this time. And then up here at the top, we have a registrations, curlers, team stages, schedule, and event managers. So today we're going to cover the registrations, curlers, and teams tabs. So on the registration screen, I can see everyone who's registered for the event, for the league. And I can even edit these registrations. On the curlers tab, I have all of the curlers who have registered are actually set up in here, so very similar to the registrations, but I can also have curlers which I have manually added to this league. So if I know someone else, some other curler at my club is going to be playing in this league but didn't register for whatever reason, then I can manually add them by going into add curlers. For example, if I want to add some people from the spares list that said that they were interested in sparing, then what I can do is come into the, here into curlers and I can check this box for spares only, which will filter the list of all of my curlers at the club by, by those that decided that they would be willing to spare for it. And I can add them to the league. And the reason why we want to add curlers to the league is so that we can assign them to teams. So next I'm going to go to the teams tab. And up here at the top I have team recommendations and new team. So if I don't want to use the team recommendations or if I'm running an event which doesn't have team or skip name, then I can create new teams here. And so this is as simple as just giving the team a name and then adding the curlers that are going to be on the team. Now what I want to look at here is the team recommendations. So instead of creating new teams, manually we're going to see if the system can automatically set up our teams for us. So I've clicked on team recommendations and now here's all the teams that the system has detected that um, curlers have entered as they registered. So it looks pretty good. We've even got the positions in for everyone. So we're going to go ahead and create these teams. Now I'm noticing something here. I've got three curlers registered for team Hessel and one curler registered for team Hessel. And so it looks like Steve when he registered misspelt um, the last name of his skip. But that's okay, we can deal with that in a second. So we're going to go ahead and create Team Hustle because that looks like it's the right spelling. And then we'll create these other three teams. And we're not going to create this team because that's not actually a valid team. So if we go back to our Teams tab, we can come down here and we can see that we only have the three curlers set up here. So we have two ways of fixing that and getting Steve on this on this team. So we can edit this team manually and then add Steve this way. So I can find him down here and add him like that. Alternatively, so I have I didn't actually add him in that case. Alternatively what we can do is go to the registrations tab, find Steve's registration, which is right here, and then fix the team name that he registrate registered with by clicking edit next to his registration and then fixing that team name by adding the other S. So now they are all spelt correctly. And so now when I go back to the Teams tab, if I go back to the Team Recommendations, the system is now identifying Steve's registration as belonging to Team Hessel, and it's asking us if we want to update Team Hessel with Steve by adding Steve to it. And we're going to say go ahead and update it. And so now all my teams have been assigned, and I'm ready to go on to setting up my round robins.